I do not want to get up. I am so tired. You look like a little Ewok, and you too. This, this is my life. This is what I wake up to every morning. This guy and this guy, Ben and Ted, basically looking at me, saying, hey, I gotta pee. Wouldn't it be great if humans love the simplicities that dogs love? Watch this. Hey, do you wanna go outside? Do you guys wanna go outside? Oh, oh my gosh, they wanna go outside. Crazy, I mean, it's the simplicities of just even going outside. I mean, look how excited they are. Yeah, here we go. I walked them. Oh, no you didn't. I put them outside though. Oh my gosh, you went outside? They probably, they probably oh, are so excited. Gosh, They're excited outside. because they know we got a new bread maker. It's not new. <laughs> it's brand new. I've never seen it before. What? And look how it makes bread into a beautiful ball. I've never seen our bread maker. I don't know how long we've had it. Must be a new recent Christmas gift from Santa because I've never seen it ever. What are we uh, gonna do today? Us. Or the dogs, anybody who's listening. Anything fun happening today? What are you gonna do? And I've been meaning to talk to you about that. <laughs> when are we taking down these Christmas decorations? Probably, I think that's pretty well, common. Bread. We can Pe safely have them until like um, Valentine's Day. Yeah, we'll bread. probably keep the Christmas decorations up. The until Valentine's Day since New Year's Eve has already passed. Oh, coffee maker, brand new coffee maker, another Christmas gift. Another Christmas gift we got. Ooh, it makes alcohol. It does make alcohol. Okay. Back to the lair. I feel like it's a prison cell. Hey, by the way, uh, come get this thing. I dragged this thing all the way back from Japan with Frieza's little snacks and goodies and stuff. I'm actually very tempted, very tempted to see what's in there. And I could see it stretching up before us, almost like we I think the snacks are over here. Look at all these oh, Japanese snacks. I've laid in about 25 positions on this bed <laughs> in different angles. So uncomfortable. I have to change something because like my happiness is being affected. I mean, I'm in this room so much and I guess I've never really been in this situation. I'm a traveler. I like to be outside. I actually like hate being inside. Kind of like something I just, just don't like. So I either have to start working in a different location, going to a Starbucks or something like that, or I need to start scheduling it out. Like I've got this whole mapped out plan, right? It's exactly what I expect to do, right? But I don't have a mapped out plan for my day, for me, for my happiness. I just have these things that I have to get done and I'm starting to realize like maybe I'm addicted to work. Maybe I'm just like, a workaholic, like a binge worker, and then I go travel, and then I binge work. And I don't know if that's wrong or right, it's just I need a little bit of moderation in my life. So I'm thinking a little bit about it. I'm gonna try to do something, you know, do about two things that get me out of the house a day. Flying the drone's one of them, which is cool since the Mavic came in, I can fly it around, which is fun, but I'm gonna need something else for sure. Otherwise, I'm going to lose my I think the thing is for me is like, I wanna be happy. I wanna enjoy my life. That's it, right? And one of the reasons I work hard is I, I'm able to provide some value and that helps people. And also, you know, I wanna make some money. Not a lot, but enough to survive. I wanna have the balance of having enough money and having enough time. And I think that's something we only really think about, right? Like, we don't think about like, oh, how much, how much money would you like to make? Oh, I'd like to make a million dollars. How much time would you like to have? Either daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. We, I don't think I've ever heard anybody even propose that question. And it's one that needs to be proposed. How much time do you want? A year to yourself. We kind of think, oh, two, weeks of vacation time would be great. Two weeks of vacation time? Are you serious? Absolutely not. There's absolutely not. I need months, months of vacation time. I know that about myself. And that's why I have the life I have. This entrepreneurial like up and down life because I know that I have to have at least three to four months off per year to travel, explore, to do the things that I wanna do. So, I'm gonna go fly the drone. I don't think there's much daylight out. I, I woke up at 10 a.m. and I'm having a hard time going to bed at night. I'm going to bed at like three or four every night because I'm working. But 10 a.m., it's now 4 p.m. Starting to kind of get dark. 
So I've got time to fly the drone and that's probably about it. But tonight I'm gonna to make it and set a schedule for something that's going to allow me to monitor and manage my time a little bit better. If you guys, ain't got, if you guys got any ideas, I'd love to hear. Enough rambling. I mean, my thing for me is like, hey, I don't have enough time to even vlog. I feel so busy. That's, that's BS. Like this is my time to share with you guys about my thoughts, my feelings, what's going on, and to share with myself. I mean, to not just think it, but to just hear it out loud and to reiterate it. You know, I think it and I, I say it and then I actually hear myself say it. That's how you create a pattern, it's how you create a mantra. And it's a pattern that I want. It's moving towards something that I want. It's moving towards betterment, which I think is the sole purpose of all of our lives. And it's one that I strive to every single day in my life. I tr just try to be better than I was yesterday. That's it. And at the end, you know, Maybe I'll have done some cool things and helped some cool people. How's life been? Good. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, yeah, for sure. Good morning, afternoon. I'm just kind of, I was in working all day today, so I decided to kind of take it for a nice little test ride. I take it around this time of day every day. Oh. It's really nice because there's a nice sunset, you know. You cool. Push that little button right there and it will start recording, right? Uh -huh. And then I'll just kind of aim it at me and I'll just talk about something. And I'll say, I'll say like, um, one of the reasons that I love carrying this camera around is it's really super small and I can get in and out of things and film it really easily. And on top of that is I take this camera everywhere in the world with me. And when I have a thought that I really like that I think is important to me or my like, they want to see the drone. Let's, let's go show it to them a little bit. But, um, go, go to the okay, I will. Imagine if your grandkids would be able to look back in time and see what you look like, like as a young oh, man, and like at 25 <laughs> and 35, but how cool would that be, right? Yeah. It'd be like a really interesting like experiment. Well, that's what's gonna happen for the new generation, right? So I vlog, have been vlogging every day of my life. Oh, well, that's super. So I'm sharing my thoughts and what's going on in my life, my struggles, if there are any, and you know, my difficulties, and then, and then, and just how overall I see just my, my, my mindset, how I practice stoicism, how like in everything, in every situation, there's a learning experience that can come out of it, you know, all these things. And I put it up on a, I have my own, my own channel, my own oh. YouTube channel. Oh, do you? And so people can watch it. And my parents don't get to see me that much because I travel a lot, so they watch the channel. And so you can go online and watch every day of of my life. Oh, that's super. Where's your parents? Kind of cool. They're in Washington, D.C. So how cool is that? You yeah. know, I get to kind of like, they yeah, get to see what's they get to on. see what's going on and I get to kind of show them all the new things I'm doing and they'll get to see like an aerial perspective of what I'm up to or, you know, conversation I'm having, you know. See, when you go outside, there's so many people to meet. I just talked to a runner. That's my neighbor that I recently met who's like 80, 75, something like that. And he's just interested in technology. It's so cool. Most people I meet just they're uh, anti-technology and that's kind of how I was for a long time and probably until I read Gary Vaynerchuk's book it a uh, book crush it book it <laughs> crush it his book crush it and it was amazing and I I love it and I I've totally fell in love with the book because it taught me exactly how important understanding social media and technology is for being able to move in a very effortless way into this new era. Super important. And I have gravitated to it big time. Fell in love with it. I'm still in love with it. And what better way to catch that beautiful sunset over there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's gonna be great. What better way to catch that than with my drone? You don't see a sunset like that inside my room. Lost,